Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric. Now with the majority of Americans set to get their $1,200 stimulus check soon, for anyone who has been in the market for an affordable electric bicycle, this could actually be a great opportunity. Now I want to be clear, obviously priorities like rent or food come first, but for anybody who is already in a stable position and you have those things taken care of, this is a great opportunity to find an affordable electric bicycle. Especially now, electric bicycles have a lot of advantages. First of all, they're a great alternative to public transportation, which of course everyone is advised to avoid public transportation right now because of the dangers of people crowding in a small area. Secondly, electric bicycles are incredibly affordable to drive. They rarely cost more than a dollar a month in electricity. Compare that to cars where you have car payments, gas, insurance, parking, or even compared to a bus ticket that's obviously much more affordable. And lastly, regardless of your situation, electric bicycles are great for exercise. It's a good way to socially distance while still maintaining your fitness. And even for people who don't have a high level of cycling fitness, you can use pedal assist to work your way back up. When it comes to buying an electric bicycle, obviously shopping local is best. If you have a local e-bike shop, it's great to support your local economy, especially at times like this. If you don't have a local e-bike shop, then we're gonna share with you the top electric bicycles that we've reviewed this year that you can order on the internet. All of these e-bikes come from US-based companies. They're not necessarily built in the US, but they're all from US-based distributors. All right, let's check them out. First up, we've got the Electric XP Folding Fat Tire e-bike for $899. Look, it's hard to find a better speed to dollar ratio than the Electric XP. At $899, you're getting a 28 mile per hour or 45 kilometer per hour fat tire electric bike that's both fast and powerful thanks to that 750 watt motor. To be fair, the battery isn't the biggest we've seen at just 500 watt hours, and you'll likely get around 25 miles or 40 kilometers of mixed use from it. A bit of pedaling can increase that number, while hard off-road riding might drop the range further. Speaking of off-roading, the Electric XP's fat tires make it great for hitting both the asphalt and the dirt. There's no suspension on this budget-level e-bike, but it'll still handle nicely on gravel or dirt trails thanks to the large air volume in those fat tires. Think nature trail though, not mountain bike course. Next up, we've got the Rad Runner Electric Utility Bike for $1,199. Now the Electric XP is nice, but what if you need more room to carry cargo or passengers, or just want an upgrade on range? The Rad Runner for $1,199 is a great upgrade. It's normally a $1,299 e-bike, which would place it outside the range of your $1,200 stimulus check. But luckily for you, Rad Power Bikes just announced a fancier version of the Rad Runner and put the standard model on sale for $1,199. The Rad Runner is one of the most versatile, budget-level utility bikes on the market right now. Between the 750-watt motor and the 624-watt-hour battery, it has the power and the capacity to handle pretty much any standard commute or e-bike trip. The low standover height and the rear bench seat that also includes a foot peg option makes it easy to toss a kit or two onto the back, and the bike rides nimbly and comfortably. The Rad Runner is more road oriented than trail focused, so don't plan on doing too much off-roading, but I've actually ridden it on light nature trails and it's performed just fine for me. Next up we have the Super 73 Z1 moped style electric bike for $1,150. Mini bike, moped, e-bike, whatever you want to call it, there's no denying that Super 73 bikes get some serious style points. And while most of Super 73's bikes cost $2,000 or more, the Super 73 Z1 is priced at just $1,150. For that price, you're getting a 500 watt nominal motor with a peak output of 1,000 watts, a 420 watt hour battery, a range of 20 miles or 32 kilometers, and a top speed of 20 miles or 32 kilometers per hour. The Super 73 Z1 is not the best e-bike for pedaling. In fact, it's downright awkward to pedal, but most people will use this bike like a moped anyways. With a hand throttle and laid back ride geometry, the Super 73 Z1 is a great e-bike for cruising around town. Those wide street tires make quick work of carving through turns. While I would have loved to see a removable battery on the bike, it otherwise checks most of my boxes. And it's hard to find a cooler looking e-bike than this one at a price that your stimulus check can cover. Next up, we have the Ride One Up 500 Series Electric Commuter e-bike for $1,145. Now while the first three bikes on this list were all small diameter fat tire bikes, the Ride One Up 500 Series takes us into commuter bike territory. At just $1,145, the Ride One Up 500 series offers a nice set of specs. 
You're getting a 750 watt peak motor, 25 mile per hour or 40 kilometer per hour top speed, a 500 watt hour removable battery, and a range of 25 to 50 miles or 40 to 80 kilometers, depending on whether or not you're doing pedal assist or throttle only riding. The bike has comfortable grips and a matching saddle. It includes built-in lights and even offers an upgrade to a larger 800 watt hour battery. Though to be honest, the stock battery still gets plenty of range. If you're looking for a good commuter bike that won't break the bank, this is probably my number one e-bike recommendation now in this category. The bang for your buck is just unmatched for commuter or hybrid e-bikes. Next up, we have the Swagtron EB12 electric road bike for 850 bucks. Now, if you're looking for more of a hipster spec electric road bike, Swagtron has you covered with their EB12. The thin 700C wheels, the narrow steel tube frame, and those stubby flat bars all scream fixie bike, yet you actually get a seven speed Shimano shifter here. The 16 mile per hour or 25 kilometer per hour top speed is not gonna make your eyes water, but you'll wanna be pedaling this bike anyways. There's a throttle, sure, but it's not the zippiest of electric bikes under throttle-only operation. The pedal assist works beautifully, though, and these kind of road bikes want to be pedaled. The slim battery in the rear is housed in a double-decker rack, leaving the top of the rack free for storage. You can slap on a milk crate back there and have a utility bike in a snap. All in all, the Swagtron EB12 is a great road-style electric bike for anybody on a budget. Next up, we have the Schwinn EC1 electric cruiser bike for $898. Now, if road bikes aren't your thing, you might be more into electric cruiser bikes, and the Schwinn EC1 could hit the spot. The Schwinn EC1 is just $898 and has the old school charm of a classic Schwinn, except for that motor and battery, of course. There's no throttle on this one, but cruiser bikes are fun to pedal with that laid back, easygoing ride stance. The pedal assist has five levels to choose from, with the highest power level taking you right up to 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour. With a 30 mile or 51 kilometer range, front and rear disc brakes, and a seven speed Shimano attorney shifter, the Schwinn EC1 would make a great pleasure bike for cruising the boardwalk or the bike lane. It even comes with a two year warranty, which is longer than many other budget level e-bikes. Next up, we have the Propella V3.4 single speed e-bike for $949. Now, Propella makes some great looking single speed electric bikes that might be perfect for anyone looking for a lightweight electric road bike. The 18 mile per hour or 29 kilometer per hour bike weighs just 34 and a half pounds or 15 and a half kilos and easily passes my one finger lift test. The battery is modest at just 250 watt hours, but since this is a pedal assist only e-bike, you can still get 20 to 40 miles or 32 to 64 kilometers of range out of the bike and you've gotta love that blue anodizing. Not a bad look for a $949 e-bike. Lastly, we've got the Swagtron EB7 Plus folding e-bike. Now the Swagtron EB7 Plus might look a little bit funny, especially with those little 16 inch wheels, but it's actually a pretty awesome little folding electric bike. It'll hit speeds up to 18 and a half miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour, and can get a range of 20 miles or 32 kilometers from its removable 250 watt hour battery. There's no front suspension, but oddly enough, you will find rear suspension. It's not the smoothest ride out there, but it's a nice addition for little bumps and obstacles. The beauty of the bike is how small it folds though. This is a great one for keeping in the trunk of your car or sticking under your desk in the office. So that sums it up. Those are the best electric bicycles we've reviewed this year, priced under $1,200. Now, remember to use your $1,200 stimulus check for the most responsible purchase. If you need to put it towards rent or food or savings, please do so. But for those of you that are stable and you're already looking to get an electric bicycle, we hope that this was a helpful list of bikes that might interest you. Last but not least, if you enjoyed the video, we hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.